Okay, let's go. As Michael said, let's do this. Okay, so uh, welcome to another exciting Friday stream with me. Exciting times, people. Exciting times. So I'm wearing my billboard, ready to go. Got my billboard going. So everyone, I let's see, let me double check. The video looks good on my side. Uh, my audio is a jumping. So you guys should be good to go. Everyone, give me a give me a thumbs up that you can hear me all right. What's going on, comics legend? I I saw Scott is in here too. So Scott from Miniac, I saw you were in here, my man. So. We're gonna start working on making this armor start looking cool. Okay, we're gonna. I gotta start moving on to this, and then I think one of these streams, I'm gonna have to start doing our head, so we stop looking at this head. And we need to make her be like I give her red eyes right now, just to start giving her some life to her. Um, so I want to start doing those some of the armor stuff and start making some really cool um, ideas here, maybe that I can do with the armor. Uh, so I started obviously doing some things to the armor, giving it some now some more thickness and again our goal here is working with scott at miniac our goal is for these streams is trying to make a model that's not just 3d printable but it's also going to be sent out to scott to paint for a miniature so we're, our target goal here is a miniature piece that we're going to hand off to scott at miniac to paint up right and i'm just going through the processes and obviously as we go through our streams. We have a lot of tangents and things so that we go on. Like last week's was just big time tangents. So I want to start looking at this piece some more and having some fun with this. So again, uh, thanks for being here. This should be an exciting, uh, fun stream. I really like the, so I'm going to make that bigger. Um, and let's get at it. So I want to start doing some things on the shoulder plates. I want to start doing some stuff on the chest plate and start working on all this. Um, through here with you guys and then obviously as always we're going to be answering questions as we go as we go all right so i'm going to start with something to put on the shoulder so i want to put a skull on there i i think i can't have a, a banshee without some skull somewhere okay so i'm going to just going to grab skull that already exists so there's actually two locations where i can get a skull um, that's already here in ZBrush. For those of you that, in case you just don't want to sculpt the skull, um, there's multiple places. So either we can use this one, okay, uh, which is an anatomy piece that's inside, that's in, in ZBrush from Ryan Kingsling. Um, and in here, there is a skull piece, right? So there's the skull, right? So we could grab that skull. So this is one. And what I would probably do is do something like this. So I want to do just half a skull like this. So we'll split this up. Okay, so here's one way to get a skull, right? Um, this one's also very tessellated. So you're definitely going to want to fix that, right? So I would probably remesh this, of course. So like in here, I don't need any of this because what I'm going to do is I want to use this skull kind of as a relief. That's my goal with this. I want to do like a relief on the armor with the skull. So I don't really need all these details down here in the bottom because really the only thing I care about um, is this. I, I do want the teeth though. Um, I want these top teeth in here, right? So let's go ahead and grab those real quick. Uh, she can't have a missing tooth. That that would be silly to have the, there we go. We want those as well. So I'm going to split those off. So now we'll have this and this. Okay, so I want at least something like that. Okay, now, there's one. Another one, just so you guys, you guys pick and choose here, is also Nick Zuccarella. So let's take a look at that one and see what he's got for us in this one. So here's another one. Right, I, I'm going to use this one, I think, now, because I think the teeth are just going to be easier for me to do what I want to do with the teeth. Um, and then the head's already low polygon. It's ready to go. So I can play with this a little bit more. Um, we're gonna have to fill in these gaps, right? So same things with, see he has the gap filled in. So actually his skull would be better because it's more printable, right? But I think I like Scott's, I like the teeth better on this one for me, 
to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of both. Okay, so I'm going to grab, ironically, the gold teeth here. Cause I'm going to split those, and then I'm going to go use now this one. And let's just go ahead and clone this skull. So we got this one, and now let's grab the teeth from the other model. So I'm doing a, what's up, pre-drag? How you doing, Robert? Thanks for coming in. What's the best brush for blocking in? I can't get a good hang on blocking out forms to make human limbs. I personally, um, I use clay buildup. It's a lot of clay buildup and then smoothing. For me, is blocking in the best. That's the, I, that's my favorite brush. Most people either use like clay buildup, clay tubes are probably the two most popular for blocking things up sculpturally, um, and then going from there. Right. So, to answer your question, hopefully that helps out. Uh, at least answers what is that. All right. Now let's append his teeth, and then his teeth are going to be a different size. Right. Okay, so they're going to be completely different. So what I'm going to do, just to make this easy, because I'm planning to use this a kind of as a brush. Okay, so I'm just going to unify the teeth. So they're sitting there, and then let's also just unify the skull. So then it's sitting there as well. So now I just got them both sitting at the center. We'll make this skull bigger now, so that it makes sense more for the teeth. And now let's actually make these teeth smaller, smaller, something more like. And then since we're printing this, I don't want to pull this out too much. Okay, something like there's something like that is looking good to me. Okay, so I'm gonna remesh this skull because it's not clean. So I'm just gonna do the handy dandy Z remesher. And the reason why again I picked this skull over the other one right because this was already closed off which is going to be beneficial for me for printing right i got to think about the fact that i'm going to be printing something so here's to your question blocking out here's me switching to the clay build up um, the clay br brushes are acting a little bit like a filling in of the content so this is gonna i just want to fill this in a little bit more i don't need that much realism to the skull because again i'm going to be using it for for something else um, I would even probably fill in here as well, right by our mandible, which would also, this is the zygomatic bone, the zygomatic arch. I'm just going to fill this in just a little bit more and we'll soften. I'm going to soften just some stuff up a little bit with building up and let's, I'm going to give a little bit stronger brow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this kind of into what I think a, a vampire skull would look like. Um, because my Banshee, she's going to appreciate her heritage. She's loving her heritage, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to make her, have, you know, I'm going to use this on her and to put on the armor. You know, she's a little O2. Since we're, we're doing like a vampire, what's everyone's favorite vampire movie? What do you guys? What do you guys say is your vamp favorite vampire movie? Oh, if you had to pick one, if someone you know, and Scott's in here, if you guys had to pick one, I say, what's your favorite vampire movie? What would you say? What what, what would what would any of you say? M I got a couple. I, the, I you know you guys know me for the '80s. Lost Boys for me just really hit home for me for some reason. I really just enjoy that movie. Um, it's a it's one that I just really enjoyed having fun. And then Near Dark is pretty crazy and I, I really enjoyed interview with a vampire okay so you can make fun of me all you want but i enjoyed it i i really liked i like those movies that kind of go through time periods a little bit so to me that was a fun movie i i actually enjoy that too let's see what everyone else is putting in here oh 30 days of night's a good one yeah i like that one too underworld the first one i think after that I, for me they get a little nuts yeah, Lost Boys. Thank you, comics. Yes. Oh, Blade's a good one. There you go. Vampire Hunter. All right. I like it. All right. Dracula. Oh, yeah. There's a good one. 80s rules. I love it.
Okay, I'm not going to try and be ridiculously detailed with this. I'm just trying to just block out a little bit more and just create a little bit different looking, maybe, you know, it's an, a vampire. So their anatomy changed when they a little bit maybe when they became a vampire. And that's, that's my world and I'm sticking to it. Scott, I'm counting on you to be my, uh, your off your rocker person. You know, keep me in check on the vampire world if you're still in here. Because uh, you're painting this after, right? So I, I want you to be digging this too. It's not. We're we're doing a collaboration, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a little something different in the skull. Mm, I like this. Let's exaggerate this a little bit more. Let's give that a little more exaggeration in there. Maybe let's exaggerate that bone structure a little bit more in there. Just get a little something. Get a little something. All right, we need some more in here. So let's go up another level. I'm just dividing up in here. And since we now have everybody, um, did anybody see the video that we put out with the ball cap, the baseball cap? Anybody in here see that video? Because uh, there's a lot of people asking about that. So, I'm going to do another stream next week, okay? So, we are going to be here. Let me pull it up. Yeah, a lot of people were asking in those videos, like, hey, a tutorial would be great. So, we're going to one-up this, okay? We're going to do it live. I'm going to do a stream next also week. So, I'm going to do two streams next week. I'm not just going to do a stream like this where we're working with trying to do a miniature. I'm going to do a stream where I go remake that baseball cap in front of you guys so therefore you can come in and be with me live and then ask me some questions maybe that you might have um, and then obviously it's recorded right so you guys will also have that so it's going to be here I'm gonna give you guys let me pull up the calendar and I'm gonna give you the link so we'll put it on screen here so we're gonna be creating the baseball cap live because a lot of people are asking for it on social media how the heck I did this so we're gonna do some bonus streaming Okay, so let me copy this and put this in the chat for you guys so you guys have this. Right, so next week, Wednesday, I'm literally just making this and then we're going to on Friday also do this. So I wanted to bring this up because we're going to be having some fun with that and making it fun. You know, we might continue this trend and making a little segment of like how to, like how it's made, right? Kind of a segment. Do it live, it's way better, right? Okay. And I'm going to go through all that, how I did the stitching, the micro polys, how I did the logos, everything. In fact, I'm going to do a logo today, too, for her. All right, back back to her now. So we'll talk about that again, uh, just a reminder, because everyone comes in and out of this stream at different times, right? So, uh, again, I'm just quickly trying to just get a little bit of difference going in here. And you'll see where I'm going to go with this. Once I just do some little bit more sculpting elements to just to change this up a little bit, right? It's all about working fast. You know, this is like you know the Bob Ross of artwork. There, just just go be art, be art, right? That's all we're looking at right now, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I know, I know you guys. It's okay, it's okay. I'm so proud of myself. Yay! Okay, making art. All right, and there we go. A little something like that, and maybe build that up. Let's switch to a little clay build up. Make that have a little bit more build up surface through there. Build up surface through there. And this is how, since the person was asking about blocking out, to me, I think it's crucial so you don't get blobbiness. Is you can notice I'm laying strips of clay in essence, and then I'm smoothing them back a little bit, and then smoothing them back, so I don't get a really lumpy, lumpy, lumpy sculpt. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's exaggerate this a little bit more. And obviously, it could be good too to break symmetry, so it's not so perfect, right? Get some asymmetrical stuff in there. Again, I'm gonna be using this as a brush, so I'm not really that concerned too much. So let's see what do we got. Let's see. Let's take a step back now. Now these are a little aggressive. I don't like how aggressive these are. There. Okay. Let me top up my 
nasal a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more love in there. Just, I want that to pop a little bit more. I have a little bit more life to it. There we go. Switch back to my handy Danny. So I'm just switching right now to clay buildup and the Damien Standard brush or Dam Standard inside of ZBrush just to build up some surface. So as you can see, again, if that person's still, if you're still in here, this is why I like using the clay buildup. Just build up some of my surface. Let's go a little bit wider there. Something like that. There we go. Okay. All right, that's not bad. Let's let's actually get the orbital bones. I'm not using any AO preview right now. Nope, this is just straight up just a material. This is just straight up matte cap gray right now. So there is no AO on this at all. It's all material driven right now. We can throw some AO on it, you know, if you want. You want to see it with some AO? AO, 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 AO. That's how you got to do it, I think. I don't know. That's at least how I do. You guys, all that have been here before, know I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little eccentric, a little out. Let's add a little more change in this bone and structuring in here. Let's all, uh, let's throw a little, a little build up through here. Just give it a little different structure. Yes. Okay, that's looking pretty. Uh, I'm all. I'm all right with where we're at now. Okay, it's just something a little different. Just not the same old, same old. Uh, put a little more of a brow bone in here for the. In here, we'll go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, so yeah, here if you want to see with AO, here's with the preview on it. So there's with preview AO the default settings. I would probably up my intensity more on this guy and probably throw in some more secondary and then there you go there's with the AO 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 O A A A O O on okay is there a special functionality in clay buildup yes yeah the, the the clay brushes are a particular a specific type of brush inside of ZBrush and then clay buildup has a feature turned on to allow you to build upon the surface as if you were actually laying down strips of clay. That's kind of what it's trying to replicate. Okay. I'm subdividing right now. I have no Dynamesh. There's no Dynameshing happening right now. All right, so let's move on to the teeth. Okay, and then the reason why I went with these teeth is this is a vampire, right? So we need to make the teeth look like vampire teeth, right? So I'm going to give this some more love. So let's switch to move and we need vampire teeth. So that's why I wanted to use these teeth. They're, they're just a little bit better, okay? So I wanna just focus on this one tooth right here so we can start seeing something that starts looking like it's a vampire, right? Cause that's what's important to me at this time. So I'm going to come down here to my uh, polygroups, and I'm going to auto group. What that's going to do is every single tooth is going to get its own colored polygroup, right? So I want to use this to my benefit. So because I want to just focus on these teeth right here. Let's, let's even divide up these teeth some so we got more resolution to them because that's going to be important. And now that we got more resolution, let's... I want these to sink in a little bit more. I'm going to move even more forward. Something like that. Okay. And obviously you need to be careful because you don't want them to look like, uh, you don't want, we don't want this to go too far because then it'll start looking like maybe like a monkey or something like that. Right. Or, so I don't want to go too crazy with the tooth. So I, now that I have those polygrouped off, I can just mask out in essence, everything else. And only look at those. So what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to take the time to make these two the same polygroup, right? So now they're all the same, okay? And then do now this. And now I'm going to reposition this now and start just making this tooth be a little bit different. These teeth, 
come more, be a little bit more sharp. And when we get into her mouth, we're going to go crazy because we're doing a banshee. So I'm going to do a really large mouth. I'm going to do Fright Night. There's another one. I'm going to do like Fright Night style for her, te for her teeth. This is, again, this isn't for her. This is for me to use as a brush. And you guys are going to see in a second here what I mean by that. And just changing up the shape a little bit. I'm going to build up some. And you know what? In fact, I think I'm also going to give this a little bit more volume. I'm going to inflate it. Just a little bit, maybe. And thinking about this, and thinking about that we're 3D printing, okay? I'm actually going to inflate all the teeth. Uh, this little gap in here, okay? It looks cool right now, maybe. But for printing-wise... That's going to be a problem. Okay. Uh, required shortcuts on screen. Do you guys have a, can you recommend, maybe, you know what, I will say them because I don't have an app. Anybody got a good app that will just show the shortcuts? That's a small thing that I can put in my stream in the corner. I know there's, they're out there. If someone knows a good one. We do shadows type teeth for them. Are they retractable? That would be cool. Okay, so back to what I was saying. I was just reading your guys' comments. Um, I'm going to inflate all of them because I actually want them to touch. Like, I want them to do that because this is going to be better for printing. Okay, A, they're a little bit bigger volume. Okay, so it's important to do this now for me. Um, just it's just going to make things easier. So let me now push these this back because I don't want it getting into the skull and what I'm also going to do forget about masking I'm going to use one of my favorite brushes my move topological brush that's going to allow me I don't even need to mask now I can individually move teeth around and not have to worry about it and I think maybe we should I don't know. what do you guys uh Again, I'm getting a little too crazy, I think, with this, too. Let's make this be bigger, a bigger tooth. Let's go bigger. Go bigger, go! Just have some more volume to that. And let's use some snakey hook. Or, uh, da -da. snake hook. Uh, let's make snake hook two. That way it's along the normal. Just so I can... Create more of a sharper point. I don't want to go too sharp. I think I'm going too much this way. Let's let's get rid of this. This that's way too. They should be more. I don't know why I'm having them go in so much. Now that I look at this, right? That doesn't make any sense. They should. They should be more. Out here. I'm making a, the the vampire people you guys got to chime in and correct me on this stuff just got to something a little bit more there we go and then let's pull that out that out give it some volume in through here and then I'm going to dial it back cuz it's a, it's a it's a skull you know? no I'm going to keep it forget it I'm going to keep it all right it's good enough. Can you use Sword Soft Mouse Track for keystrokes? Uh, oh, that's the app you're saying to use? Does it take long to download? I can start downloading it now. Maybe I can get that up and running actually during this stream. Thank you, Emmanuel. I appreciate that. Interview with a vampire? Yes, I agree. <clears throat> gotta make the sound effects? Oh, you gotta have sound effects, people. Okay, what is it called? Sword soft. Sword soft. We're going to be making a. Uh, this. Is this the application you're referring to? Oh, and Karnak is another one. So, Emmanuel, this is. Yeah, okay, this is it. 
I'm assuming it's free. Mouse track is the one I want. Lines out areas of mouse pointer, shows animation effects. That one right here, I guess. Ah, displays keystrokes. Okay, perfect. Oh, it costs money though. All right, well, we'll do this later. All right, I'll have it for next stream. I'll have to remember to do this. Right? Uh, the final print size I haven't decided on yet. That's something I'm going to discuss with Scott. Once I have a final done before I pose her, um, then I'm going to discuss that with Scott, what we want to do. Okay. All right, so I think this is good enough for me. Um, good enough for what I'm trying and wanting to do with it. I, I, I got I to gotta just stop. I'm just going to keep going on this. I, gotta, I just got to stop. Okay, good enough. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to use this on my armor, okay? So there's going to be a lot of different ways I'm going to do, I, you can use this, okay, this this piece. So I'm going to show you a couple ways that we're going to throw this on her. And so what I'm looking to do is this armor piece right here on this shoulder piece, I want to put that skull right here. Okay, so that's what I want to do right there is just put a, that skull. So that's what... a that's what I've been working on. Hold on, did. Okay. So, I've got this model. Okay. So, I'm going to say, all right, that looks good. That looks good. Okay. I'm going to walk down to the lowest and walk down to the lowest. So, now we got something, say, like this. Maybe I'll go a little bit more, something more in that that vein. That looks good. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to turn this into a mesh that I want to go use on her now. Okay. So, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the higher and the lower just so there's no subdivision levels. And then I'm going to do the same thing for her teeth. I'm just going to delete the higher. I just want the low ones right now. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is merge these together. And I don't want a lot of polygons. We're sitting at 43,000. Okay. Skull and knee pads would be a good place too. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to merge this down. And say okay. So now this is all one. They're not we Nothing's welded right now. I'm not actually worried about the welding right now. Because I'm going to be using something that's going to weld it for me. Okay. Ah, okay. Just reading. Uh, I've seen where vampires have their incisors sharpened beside the canines too. Huh? Many sharpness. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that for her. For her mouth, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make all a lot of her teeth sharp too. All right. So I'm gonna go back to her. And so one way I can go about doing this now. So I've got this this guard part. Okay, selected right now. Right? And it's low, low, low polygon. And then this is a separate subtool. Right? So I like working with this ability to have kind of separating subtools. Okay? So I'm going to come in here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert that skull that's all one mesh. Okay? And so when I do that, it now pops in. And let's rename this uh, shoulder skull. You got to. You gotta drag it out like that. Shoulder. Right? Okay. She sounds like an absolute tight to be around. Oh, make believe jumping in, Lost Boys. Huh? A lot of Lost Boys fans. I like it. I like it. Okay, so now that I have this skull in the scene here, okay, it's sitting way down here. So I'm gonna size this up so we have it. We're gonna move it up here and I'm going to rotate this here and now let's put this on all right let me hold on I got I had symmetry on when I rotated so let's make sure I don't have symmetry on and then do something like this and like this okay so the benefit of me doing this right is I'm going to be able to get this kind of 3d more look to her right 
and I don't have to worry about sculpturally doing things. I can position it where I want, right? Um, and you got to think about now, see, for printing, things like this, right? And then Scott's got to paint this, right? But you can see how cool that starts to look just throwing that in. Now, because again, we are going to be printing this. There's some things now I got I got to think about. Okay, so I kind of like that position looks good. What you guys throw throw at me too if you guys like where that position is. I think that's a good positioning there. I kind of we can even put eyeballs in there if we want to make it be cray cray, right? What would like? I wonder what it would look like here. Just bear with me. Let's see that. You know, this is this is being an artist. I think that we're all used to, right? It's just what if I threw like an eyeball in here? Do I like that? Hmm. 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 I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it a little bit. Oops. Let's. Like, that's extreme. But. So let's grab these and push these in. Uh, I kind of, what do you guys think? I kind of actually, I kind of like with the eyeball in there now that I have this. Let's just make them smaller. Kind of. I'm kind of digging the eyeballs. Yeah, I'm kind of digging them, eh? I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of, I'm, I'm going to go with digging the eyeball, but this is also the beauty of this, is that I, right, right now, I'm not, anything's welded, nothing's welded, right? Okay, is he dropping frames for anyone else? Okay, so you guys are dropping frames, it's getting a little bogged down for you guys, so let me just find... I want to find the right size for this. Let's try six. Let's try seven. Okay, I think I'm going to go with seven. I'm just going to copy this over. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the eyeballs. I like the eyeballs. I'm 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 digging the eyeballs being in there. It just adds another little another little flavor to it. Looking good. Just gonna do some polishing on that. Alright, so you can see now we have something like this, right? So this is gonna help even for three D printing, right? There's it's not that bad of overlapping in there, okay? So that looks good there. Now, the next thing I gotta worry about is this in here, okay? What do I wanna do in there, okay? And, and, let's just turn now just the shoulder plate, this, right? So my skull, right, is being, you know, through the shoulder plate right now. That That's not good. We don't want that, especially since I know down the line, okay, I'm going to pose this, right? And that plate, that shoulder plate is going to move, right? Uh, well, I'm getting really good internet on my side. Is everyone having a problem on Twitch? What about you, you two people? Try adjusting maybe your bit rate on your side. Let me see. It's, let me see. I got I got it running on mine. Let me see what mine is doing. I'm looking at I'm looking at YouTube right now. Uh, is it frozen? Ugh. What is going on with with the internet? All right, let's let's do this. Hold on. Okay, it's lagging. Hold on, we're gonna. I, I don't want to have. I'm gonna have to do this. It's not fun for me. Uh, let me make sure. 
I'm going to make my resolution really small, which stinks for me as an artist. Maybe that'll help out for you guys. I'm literally at 1920 by 1080 now. Uh, like, I can't go any smaller than that. Uh, so let's see if this is better for you all. Okay. So let's see how this is. Let's see, it's resetting. So let me see, let's see if this is better for you guys. Um, I've, I've up, in essence, I've just dropped my resolution down. So to 1920 by 1080 on my display. We'll see if that is better. Okay, so let me know if this is better or not. Okay. So, hold on, I'm going to look at the feed actually for me. Because <clears throat> I'm getting good internet strength on my side. I can see in my OBS I'm fine. So I don't know why the bit rating is so bad. Yeah, I'm seeing it on my side too. Let me make sure what else is running on the computer here. Let me make sure there's not something sucking in any resources. It's normal stuff, nothing crazy. Okay, even my. Never fails. All right, so I think we might have to do a, a restart of the stream because, yeah, it's really bad. You guys aren't, you're hearing me fine, but video-wise, it could be a restream issue right now. So um, I'm using the same settings in my OBS that I've always used. I've, I've never had problems before, so... Um, I don't know why I would need to readjust my bitrate. Here, we'll drop the bitrate some more. So now I've dropped it even more. I think we might have to... Yeah, because it's really bad. I, I think it's just something weird going on right now. We might have to... Stop the stream and restart the stream. Okay, let's do that. Let's start the stream and let's stop the stream and start the stream again. Okay, let me restart. It could be OBS too. Let me restart OBS. All right, so don't go anywhere. Okay. Okay, you're using 720p on your phone and it's fine. Yeah, because even on mine, I'm not saying. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reboot. Re, I'm gonna reboot um, OBS and see if that solves our problems. Okay, don't go anywhere. All right, so I'm back. Uh, is this better for everybody? Uh, it looks like I'm getting some feedback now on my side. Okay, okay, it looks better and salted. Perfect. That's what we want to do. Welcome to technology. Okay, so back to this. Again, we're making something that's printable, so this is really 